Hello everybody, this is All House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the previous episode with Futaba out for the count, we could do nothing more about Mejid but wait for her recovery by spending that time, uh, well, with our confidants and building our skills. And spending way too much time trying to get an achievement at a batting cage. Ugh. That was a good, what, over 20 minutes I had to cut out because of that. Ugh. Anyways, starting this day out, we are going to be heading straight for Big Bang Burger. In order to take on the next level, and final level, of the Big Bang Burger Challenge. Yes, yes, blah, 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 24 hours a day. Take the challenge. I know, special will not apply. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the Big Bang Challenge again. This is the final task before you can ascend to the rank of captain. Our store's behemoth burger stands in your way, a meal of leviathan proportions. The Cosmic Tower Burger. It's massive! I'm honestly at a loss for words. The, this burger is the ultimate embodiment of the limitless nature of space. The volume, the flavor, the calories, every aspect of this burger is astronomical. Well, I can probably agree with the calorie part. If you can succeed at eating the entire thing, you will be presented with an extraordinary gift. I wonder if anyone's ever actually finished it. Now then. Well then, it's time to get the 30-minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go! It looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cold. It looks good, but it's so big. I somehow ate the whole thing. Hey, wait! You, you, you've done it again. Congratulations! My sincerest congratulations on completing the final challenge. Since you managed to topple the Cosmic Tower Burger, I present to you the highest-ranked certification available here: the Captain Badge. Please come again. You are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain. No more challenges await you. But please, do the challenge again and show us how gallant you are. We'll be wholeheartedly awaiting your return. Hmm. You hmm. beat the Cosmic Tower. You are so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. Hmm. And we get three points for each stat, except for kindness, obviously. All right. So yeah, 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 same as he always says. Three to knowledge. All right. Three to charm. All right. And three to proficiency, but no rank ups. Same time, we've only recently ranked up most of these, so probably be a bit. All right. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. I'm full just from watching you. Well then. You made a promise with Utaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. Yeah, that's something I should probably bring up. Uh, there's going to be a lot of story moving forward, so I'm not sure how much forward progress we'll be making this episode, but we'll find out. How is Futaba? I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then. But can she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? 
Hmm. Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? You really think she's facing all that shit right now? If that is the case, she would probably need a great amount of time, uh, amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yes, indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out. Yeah, no way to know for certain until, well, it happens. Alright, let's grab Neko Shogun, because we are going to go see Hifumi. What's your plan for the day? I was hoping we could play a match. Will you join me? I'll instruct you, of course. Let's head over immediately. Thank you very much. I will meet you at the church, then. Ah, you have been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo kingdom is complete. All of my pieces have been taken. Fumi has left me utterly defeated. But to think you could stay standing after being struck by my silver infinity sword. You've improved, considering that you endured the climbing silvers so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually, The exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shoji player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I confess, I am a bit scared though. It may come down to luck. You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning, even though my opponent is ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. I believe in you. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chances of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match. For today, try and steal the pieces you want from me. Earn double money if a battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. Question is, by one turn do they mean one person's turn, or just one full round of everybody's turn? Never could figure that out. Well then, let's begin the match. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulders, don it with pride. I'll start. Come, lightning metamorphosis, gold promotion. I feel like playing Shoji with Hifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. And with that, we have ranked up to Erudite, and maxed out our knowledge. Though that doesn't mean we should stop drinking Ijiro if it's knowledge, because we gotta keep that rotation going. Alright. Thank you for today. I look forward to our next one. Tomorrow's the day, isn't it? Are the Phantom Thieves even doing anything? Hey, what are we gonna do? I should never have trusted the Phantom Thieves. What's going to happen tomorrow? Absolutely nothing. Well, for you guys. Today's supposed to be the day of Medjed's attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the Phantom Thieves could do. Medjed must have been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Medjed's true goal was...
isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Utaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. What's up? There's something I came to do. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. That's rather convenient timing. No, not convenient. Just weird. Here. I've got a cup for you too. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I mean, I mean that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futamba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I don't know. Of course, uh, sorry. Futaba? It's cold. Uh, uh huh? can't sell this. N never mind that. But how did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh... I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's uh it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Medjed it let's take care of it now come apparently see some ATMs aren't working 
heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Medjed? No, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. It's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? It's up to you. Roger that. Hey, Futaba. We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! He's a talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Finished? What is? It's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. I heard the bank servers got taken over. This has to be a fake, right? There's no way. I'm scared. What's going to happen? Are the police taking action? They're ignoring it? Seriously? Still, I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do... something. So, Futaba's awake? Awesome! And has Medjid been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? Eh, she's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If Medjid's been affected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc. As usual. See you tomorrow, guys. Well, we should be in the clear now, right? Uh, 
I'm not sure. Well, let's just sleep through the night. Agreed. We're just going to have to trust Butaba. Let's get some sleep. What's this? Seriously? No way. I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? They lost? How could this happen? Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. Boss! Hello! Oh, you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pyramid of Wrath collapses. What are you all smirking about? Nothing. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. What customers? After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Butabachan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Any politician can say those words. I value actions above them. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? 
This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? The true criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. Uh, this palace. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? I think everyone couldn't agree with me on just how bad this part of the story is. I mean, not this small upcoming bit, but what happens afterwards. Ugh. I almost want to skip it. But I can't. To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That's putting it mildly. That smell. Can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking. Even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? 
The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Yeah, and you really let the genie out of the bottle with these guys. Futaba. What do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of the mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba. How did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Utabachan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Well, let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck! Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them.
Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too. It's become a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a Medjet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they revere us for preventing it. Uh, probably more massive than you realize, considering how interconnected the world's economy is. Eh, good to hear. Yeah, it's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjet, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So, people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Well, either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, you seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. And the seeds of doubt have been planted within Morgana's mind. And training Futaba is going to be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. Now that's my Phantom Thieves, I knew they'd pull it off. This is definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. Are you sure? There's no doubt about it. I mean, they took Medjet down. Even the guys who have been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire, too. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. I bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. Can't wait to see what happens. Okay. By the way, you got a notification on your phone. Make sure to check it. Alright, alright, I'll get to that. But we have passed our first 30 minute mark. I'm going to cut the recording here. Make sure everything's recorded properly. And I will hopefully see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Recording went fine. Wasn't anything important, per se, in the, uh... In the IM, except for the usual invites, which we are going to take advantage of. Let me just double check to make sure that we have a devil persona. We do. Because we will be seeing Oya tonight. I know you have something on the Phantom Thieves. Come here. Let's chat. Oh boy. I'll be right there. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna drink all the booze here. <laughs> hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Hey, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You worried about me, Lala-chan? You're usually kinda... <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all, she said while taking a drink from a whiskey glass. I'm totally not drunk. <laughs> Having trouble at work? Ooh, you're sharp, kid. Oh, by the way, that response doesn't matter. Truth is, um, my quota got doubled. It's gonna take, like, Four times as much work to get that much done, though. They're shackling me down so I won't have time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Yep, that bastard's probably up to s knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets hidden away by our corrupt society. But now, it's going to be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good. What am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lalachan, if they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. The incident's over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kaio really was the culprit. 
You should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kayo into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Kayo chan was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. B but if I didn't get her involved in the first place... Damn it. That incident is all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. Or you're a great journalist. Hell yeah. You know, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm going to have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thief stories, though, as long as you're up for it. It feels like Oya is really starting to rely on me. All right. I think I'm going to have to ease off my investigation for a while, too. I don't need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. Mm, it's getting late. I'll see you later. would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. And yet, despite saying new power, he doesn't grant us anything. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. I knew the Phantom Thieves would pull through. Can you believe they actually took down hackers? It's cool they don't reveal what they're doing. Who's that guy that was criticizing them? A catchy? It's pretty lame to just criticize without doing anything yourself. <clears throat> well then. 
Koto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Futaba, can you open up? Open what? The front door. Why? Won't you come too, Akira? We're in front of Futaba's house. You want to meet here and not at Love LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? Y you never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon. Hey. Uh, looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Koda's really going about this seriously. She goes about everything seriously. <sighs> what is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. Mwehehe. <laughs> <coughs> Let's get started, shall we? Well, then. What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You seem confident. Yes, you must be well versed in speaking when you are a student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. What do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Butaba? Organic ones. Ah, uh, that wasn't exactly what I meant. L let's try a different topic. How about the weather? Heard this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, haven't been out. Oh. Right. Kodo's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Okay. Ah, superb. What the? Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. M my children, wha what have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. No. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Feathermen. No, Yellow and Pink's heads, and Red's been hacked to bits. This is all Inari's fault. Inari? Your thief clothes were like a fox. According to Japanese folklore, foxes like Inari Zushi. Thus, Inari. Nari. Uh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. You wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. H how dare you say that to me, of all people! Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. I mean, at least she's talking to someone. <sighs> yeah... I see. So their versatility allows you to create almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm. Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. Seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So, this is all I gotta do? What a breeze. In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes, she hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high. We'll all be there, too. Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to Aun and Ryuji. Akira will be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I... I think it would be best if you didn't. And... Tomorrow's really... There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Oh, 
Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go, though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Who's to say? Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking about all about how the Phantom Thieves took down Medjed. Shima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in, too. News coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We've been getting attention all over the city. So, how's the one who helped us take Medjed down doing? Futaba-chan! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. Uh, it was Yusuke's fault. Don't complicate things further. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. Alright, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. Ooh, I can't wait. An and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me, but I guess we'll see what they can do. Yeah. Well, tonight, this evening actually, we are going to be heading for Crossroads Bar. Spend some time with Oya again. Not a rank up, but just to uh, get some extra points for the next one. Is this weather a result of climate change? Let's see, record breaking, info on the Phantom Thieves. Let's hang out. Then take a seat. More drunk than usual. Provide her with some info, and that'll get us enough points to rank well up soon enough. Huh, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There's no customers. What's up? Yo, we're here. <laughs> Eep. <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Hey! Well, summer vacation is the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. Come on. You're gonna get fat, you know. Shut it. Hey. Where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. <laughs> Whoa! Shit freaked me out. That you, Futaba? Yep. Welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. All right, let's go. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Man. Sheesh, looks like today's going to be another noisy day. <laughs> For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Yeah, right. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What? What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. How suspicious. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go braying about that stuff to other people. Hey! You keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young, but the dress shows a lot of dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I don't want to get married right now. Yeah! Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Butaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. <laughs> but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were going to be some weirdo, but I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved, too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well... How about we try having her... How about we have her try helping out in the, around the store? That's perfect. 
It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep. Nope, nope, nope. Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode. You don't have to deal with the customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back? Uh, uh, I'll be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. Well, then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. You're all gonna pay for this someday. Maybe the Phantom Thieves caused all these scandals, too. No, I don't think those had calling cards. You know, like changing people's hearts from the shadows. Is it just me, or have there, more, there been more posts from foreigners lately? Maybe I should make a request on that forum, too. Our popularity's through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. Skewchik said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But not you specifically, right? Huh? Eh, not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. You don't gotta say it over text, too. What in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc. Er, more like chatting and snacking, really. So, she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Akira will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it, so your first test will be helping out at LeBlanc. Only Akira will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. We got it. Thanks for the help. You better make an effort tomorrow, Akira. She seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way to the beach. Who's to say? But for tonight, we are actually going to be heading for... Kanda. Spend some time with Hifumi. It's hot outside, but I'm clear-headed since it's so cool inside here. I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood for a match right now. I can't teach you Shoji right now, or rather, from now on. I'm at checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. Ifumi seems troubled. With my overflowing knowledge, of which you need to have a maxed out knowledge skill for this, I may be able to show Ifumi her next move. See Neko Shogun, we'll go stronger soon, but... What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Hifumi? Let's hang out. What? What? Y'all help me think? Thank you so much. Actually... Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. This response doesn't matter. What do you mean? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result, get more female fans. Then, when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. That won't work. I wish I could agree, but... I feel my mother may be right. People do love a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but... What made me sad was, I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shoji player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into shoji. And that terrible. once I become famous, I can quit shoji and make money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my shoji career is so she can profit off me, of me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose any mat, lose a match as long as I build my reputation and make money. So my mother, shoji is just a vehicle to make me famous. 
However, losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden, I don't want to turn my back on Shoji, a game that both my father and I love. This response doesn't matter. Let's make her reconsider. <sighs> if only that were possible. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity through me. I highly doubt she would ever reconsider. This response also doesn't matter. What's your mother's name? It's Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I need to do something about the target for Hifumi. Today's the day we're having Futaba try and help out at the cafe, right? This will be a stressful turn of events. Huh? You want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Experience is important. Still, putting her out in front of customers is a little much. D don't worry, I did graduate middle school yet last year. I I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. <sighs> well, in that case, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> Eep. Hey, are you alright? Hey. The usual, boss. Extra strong. Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba before me. You okay? <laughs> we. <laughs> she a new part timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. <laughs> you usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger this time. Uh, sometimes. It's like the Guatemala pea berry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey. hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Ah! Yo, here's your coffee. Jeez. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? Be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. H here's your coffee, sir. Uh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right. Take that thing off. Huh? What? That it, um, protects me from the steam. To think Futaba'd go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. <laughs> Looks like people really can change. So, Jero, want me to bring coffee to more customers? Mask off first. Uh, I'll think about it. Did anyone here share information about our real identities? Like hell we do that. Why the question? I overheard someone in the city saying they're, a, they're our acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. It ain't necessarily a good thing, man. We might even break into the news online. Or maybe TV. Yeah, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I served coffee to customers. She was wearing a mask, though. So she showed up in front of customers with that thing on. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. Man. 
Mask aside, I really think she's built up some confidence. Yeah. Anyways, we've surpassed the 30 minute mark a while ago, so I'm gonna cut the recording here, make sure it recorded properly, and I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back, recording went just fine. Now then, 825, evening. We're gonna be spending some time with Tora. Haven't seen him in a while. I'd like to ask you to help me with my speeches. If you're free, come to the front of Shibuya Station. I'll be right there. Thank you. I appreciate you always helping me like this. Everyone. Poverty. The working poor. Our country's job market is in a terrible state. Depression and suicide are on the rise, and the young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world has filtered down into society. It's quite hot. Today, isn't it, Kurusukun? I'm sweating profusely. Be sure to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. You don't want to get heat stroke. I'll be giving a speech again today. I'd also like you to come with me somewhere after the speech. What's your availability like today? Let's help him out. Actually, Diet Man Matsushita asked me to meet after this. You remember how he asked me to become his right-hand man. Well, he likely wants my answer. I'll need you to come with me after the speech. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? I heard you met with Kuramoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? And to think that he's the candidate the party is backing to ruin my chances of winning. I'll be completely straight with you, since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. We're currently fighting the Kuramoto group. What? You're fighting with Mr. Kuramoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I own for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. All the more, now that he's secretly working with Diet members from the other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Hmm. They want to keep you on a leash so you won't reveal any damaging information. The real culprit of the expense misappropriation case you are blamed for is old man Kuramoto. What in the world? What did you say? I searched through the party's off-the-record accounts from 20 years ago. There's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? Seems he brought his uh, bought his popularity and as a result he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. It sounds as if you're saying this is my opportunity to clear my name. So you need an answer from me on whether or not you'll I'll be your right-hand man, yes? His own grandson has already tried to persuade you, therefore I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good Torah behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join the Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuramoto, but drop out of the election. Don't do it. I see. So that's how you truly feel about this. Matsushita, I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that, I stand firm. This information will be the deciding factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. I'll talk to the party and provide support for your next speech about the Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there on a grand stage. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kuramoto group's uh, influence diminishes. Kurusukun, don't speak a word of this to anyone, for both our sakes. Very well, then. <sighs> Feels like I'm caught in the crossfire of a political conspiracy. My friend is trying to take advantage of me, while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my 
To achieve my dream, I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? Stick to your beliefs. Yes. You're right. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters, which also means betraying you. For some reason, just talking with you always helps me make up my mind. It's as if my heart is being manipulated. Hmm. Perhaps. If the Phantom Thieves truly do exist, then I'm sure they're very much like you. For some reason, you stood by me. No good Tora, who didn't have any supporters. Actually, I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. And the strength to stand up to the hecklers, to Matsushita, and to Kuramoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Would you care to talk about it? What good would that do? <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. I think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Mind control. Occasionally lets you skip interrogation when attempting to obtain a persona. Yeah, sometimes even the uh, lend me your power thing will have a special option that lets you basically just take them. But it doesn't bypass the level requirement, so you still gotta worry about that. You're right. Alright then. Well, I'll uh, at least make good use of Matsushita's help setting up my next speech. I feel like I'll be able to fully express my beliefs if you're there with me. I shall ask you again another time. We can discuss it again at the speech. See you again. Good work today. He's so annoying. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take care of him. That would be awesome. Why not make a request on the forum? That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile toward the Phantom Thieves? Right? Some people just can't read the mood. Let's see, our plans for today are... Huh. Do we not have anything planned? Out shopping with Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her into crowds like that. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They'd probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well. You too, Yusuke? Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba. This doesn't involve you. Note, honest gold to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Just what are they scheming? I'm so curious who the Phantom Thieves really are. Hey miss, want me to steal your heart? Is that a pickup line? Don't make me laugh. Apparently they're even famous overseas. Isn't that nuts? I wish I could join the Phantom Thieves. Today's the fourth day already. You getting a little better at dealing with other people? Mm, I don't know. I can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Yep. Well, let's just say that you've made some progress for now. Hey, wait! 
Axe, stop it. You're going to pull my cheeks off. Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello? Please excuse us. I'm sorry. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure what to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. Huh? What? A uh, swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right here now. Uh, right now, then. No, 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 now? You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Incredible. Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. <laughs> what the? This barely covers anything. That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah. Hmm? Push? Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. There. Good to go. Oh. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. <sighs> they're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Taba in a swimsuit. Hmm. I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. You're such a perv. What? How rude. I speak from a purely artistic standpoint. Let it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. Yo. Uh, what's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits on. Futaba's going to the beach? Hmm. I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good. Let's... Uh, seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. R right. I owe you one. Eh, she might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. We've got swimsuits. We're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can. I think. Maybe. So you're not confident. Shut up, Inari. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little more. Like what? The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. I wonder who they are. Do you think they're going for the same thing we are? That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then, Futaba-chan. Good luck tomorrow too. Chief had such high expectations of us. We need to work harder to help Futaba make some good memories. Alright, well, before we head out to do anything, oh. let's give it some Mega Fertilizer. Oh. You're gonna use that one? You must really care about this plant. Alright. Oh. And now, we're gonna spend some time with Oya. Oh, yeah. I'm thirsty for some info. I can turn even the most trivial info in, uh, into an article. Come on, it's time for my source to shine. Are you going to stop by? Let's go. Ugh, I'm drenched. It's 
We're really coming down out there. Did you get wet? Now why don't you sit and wait it out? I'm sure you brought me some good info, right? God, my head is splitting. Work's been tough. I need a break. You have any good stories? I'm taking a little break, so I'm all ears. I feel like I, could come, I can become closer with Oya thanks to the devil persona Floros. I feel like my bond with Oya will go stronger soon. Yep. Hang out. Lalachan, two drinks, please. Here, take a seat. Ugh. I'm so exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead chief. But I made some progress on my personal investigation. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle, no dirty money changing hands. I can kind of understand now how someone like you might became a fan. The more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that's fighting the evils of society is a never-ending, thankless job. But I still do it, but nonetheless. I bet the Phantom Thieves share that same type of passion. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichiko-chan. Maybe all this talk about the Phantom Thieves has influenced you. Or maybe it's just the kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Yes, this is Oya. That's right. What? You found Ko. Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait! Ko. This response doesn't matter. Could it be? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks he found Ko. He followed up on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me, but now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it. Why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't just give up now. A at least that's progress. I mean, we didn't even know Kaio-chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there. Ugh. Huh? I knew it. You've been looking into Kaio's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you drop this investigation if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait, you're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet? I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation. Got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief. Can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bitch. Listen to me, Oya. Oh yeah. Give it up unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. Don't talk about Ko like that. Stop messing Don't around. you dare. If you ever think about talking shit about Ko again, I won't hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Whoa, hold on. Take back everything you just said or I'm going to do even worse. It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest and that's what we're doing. You understand. That spineless little bastard only cares about himself. This had to happen just as I got a new lead on Ko. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? Don't let him provoke you. Hmm. <laughs> I know I'd be playing right into his hands if I let him get to me, but god damn it! <sighs> no, I need to stay calm. I can't let. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and think. Ugh, this sucks. An even greater quota is going to be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise, I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive, the Phantom Thieves, stealing hearts and changing lives. Uh, sorry, I really will try and calm down now. Passionate devotion, huh? Outrageous scoop. Delivers the same effect as Rumorfeld scoop, but to incredible effect. still frustrated, though. All that bullshit he said is really getting to me. I wish I was better at controlling my emotions like you are. You're as charming as you- you're charming as you are. 
Huh? So, Nobody uh... said anything that sweet to me before. More importantly, Ichiko-chan, how are you going to manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I should be fine as long as I keep getting good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. See, thieves in a way that somehow piqued Oya's interest, charm is increased, but won't be leveling up. Yep. All right. I should be going. See you next time you have info for me. So, what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had hot, hot hot pot that one time? That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our interest squad friendships. Uh, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelette with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Do you have the money? No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine, you owe me, got it? I want the same, extra large. <laughs> ah, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. Hmm? You'd better not be hitting on me. What? How rude. Sojiro, help me. Will you stop that? Hmm. So, does this mean her training's going good? I think so. Well, let's go with that, then. Jeez. Hey, let me make you uh, guys some after-meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this exciting. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's lots of fun. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Power through. Mm. I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow. I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futaba, okay? It's alright. I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Okay. Well, we made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Right, but... With that, I'm going to have to end this episode off here for today as we are just about out of time. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play, which at the time of recording is still at three votes. One for Prey 2017, one for Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and one for Yakuza 0. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.